Hey, Raphael here today, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a scroll view and how to manipulate the scroll view and add some um, buttons and labels onto it as well. For this video, I'm going to be using Objective C as the programming language, so I'll be giving out a Swift tutorial in the future, so stay tuned for that. Obviously, here I have made a new Xcode project for this particular tutorial, but obviously, you can use any um, existing app that you've already made and if you need to add a scroll view onto your app this tutorial is for you. Now for this one I'm going to be using the programming language Objective-C. So this is the Xcode um, menu you want to create a new app. I will set mine to portrait view. Of course you can make your app landscape left or landscape right if you decide to whatever um, app whatever app you're making. Some apps can run on landscape only, some run in portrait mode, but for this video I'm going to be running it on portrait. So we're going to be um, dragging in a scroll view, so let's go to our main storyboard. This is our um, user interface. I can get rid of this, uh, this uh, um, tab over here. And in this whole um, view controller, let's, let's go as the iPhone 8 screen, so that's very good. So I'm on, I'm on the iPhone 8 Plus as of right now, so I'm going to change my simulator to iPhone 8. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a scroll view. So over here, search for scroll view. So this is the this is the one that is going to um, help with it. Okay, so drag that in. And, oops, okay, drag that in, and we're now going to declare our scroll view. So let's go to our view controller that H, and we're going to... Declare an IV outlet. So let's do IV outlet space UI scroll view. So this scroll view, we're gonna call it asterisk and we're gonna call it scroll view. So we're gonna link that up along with the scroll view we had just added over here. So tap on the very top so it's highlighted blue and drag in a scroll view onto it. Drag in what we just declared. So I can be called ours a scroll view as you can see here. Okay, now we're going to add in a button so it go back to main storyboard I clicked on this by accident okay. so a search for UI button we're gonna show you how to add a button and a label so let's drag in a label so there's only very few pro coding to do it's not that hard to do all this so drag in a button this will be inside the scroll view as well and this will be okay me resize this Let's make make it look good um I'm gonna center that and this is gonna say scroll view example and this button we're going to put it over here it's going to be all the way over here so that well actually before we can do that let's um declare each of these um stuff that we'd add in so we declare we're gonna declare a label and we're gonna declare a UI button so Go back to your view controller that H and we're gonna do IV outlet UI button asterisk uh, button one and we're gonna declare our label which was the top label so this will be called um label see over here so we are going to now link these um to to the um, things that we've added in the storyboard so again click on the very top so it's highlighted blue and go to the connection inspector and we're going to drag this button one to our button, our label to our scroll view example label over here. So what we want is we want this um button, we want this button to be out of the view because we're going to make this scroll view scroll horizontally. If you want to do it vertically, you can, I will show you how to do it as well later on, but we'll be showing you how to do it horizontally for now. Okay, so go to your view controller that M, and let's add in our coding so we're gonna get rid of this whole um line over here so we don't need that and then we're going to do scroll view so whatever we called our scroll view in our header file we just scroll view simply and also capitalization does matter it is case sensitive it matters or else it will not it will not work and Xcode will throw you an error if one of the letters are not capitalized properly so scroll view equals um two brackets this will be UI scroll view and we're gonna we're gonna allocate and then close bracket and we're gonna go in between these two brackets this will say um, initialize with frame and this will be CG rect make zero um comma zero is the location of it 
and this will be self um dot view dot frame dot size uh dot width and on the very last one this will be self dot uh, view dot frame dot size dot height so if you've noticed already um just in case you missed what I said earlier this is all in Objective C so I will be doing a Swift tutorial as I said last time I will be doing a Swift tutorial on this later on so subscribe to my channel to stay tuned on when I will upload it and then now we're going to add this scroll view by doing of self dot view and add sub view so space add sub view colon and this will be scroll view so we're adding the scroll view whatever we call our scroll view there okay and then we are going to do scroll view and we're going to set the content size and this will be a cg size make self uh, view frame dot size dot width times three self dot um, view dot dot oops dot frame dot size dot height and it ended with a bracket and then a close square bracket and a semicolon now we want to so let's um test and run our app and see how it is so far so I'm running it and it's going to build and run so wait for the simulator to come up it's going to come up in a few minutes build succeeded this is the iOS simulator let me click on the here we go I think I can remove the dock a bit it's a bit taking up too much room here okay so let's see how it goes so right right now we haven't actually um we haven't added the buttons and the labels yet so let's see how it goes so far um wait for our app to finish loading up so as you see right now if you look closely at the bottom there is the bar over here if you look at the bottom of the iPhone you can see the bar moving but these label and this button is not moving yet and that's because we haven't added um the sub view yet to the scroll view so what we need to do now is simply do scroll view add sub view it's really simple just do button one and then our label which you code label over here we are going to do scroll view add sub view and this will be called label so now it will move along with the scroll view so let's build and run again and see how it goes Okay, so that's our app being built and run, and now as you see, our um label and our button are now um following the scroll view because we have added this added it into our scroll view. We've added the sub view pretty much. Now here, let's um play around with it some more. So let's go to our main storyboard and let's put the button all the way at the very um all the way out of the out of view. Like this is what I was planning to do originally. But we had to link them all up first before doing that, or else it will be inconvenient. Alright, so let's build and run, and let's check it out and see how it goes again. So here you can like add, you can add more buttons, you can add, and you can add an image as well if you decide to. So as you see the button, which is originally out of the view, we can um see because it is within our scroll view as well. So let's add some more um labels and let's play around with it some more. So this will be label two, label three, and here we can add another button as well. So this will be the third button or second button actually, and then we can add in label two and three. So this is optional, guys. I've already shown you how to do it, but this is only if you want to add like some more items to your scroll view. This is how you simply do it. If you want to add an image. You'd want to do um image UI image view, then call it whatever you want to. So technically UI image view for an image. Now we want a second button, so that'll be UI button, and this will be button two. So we want another button as we have added another one in. So let's go main at storyboard and click on the top so it's highlighted blue, and we're gonna connect all of the IV outlets. So this is button two. Button one is all the way over here somewhere. Oops. Okay. Label two is going to be the second label, and label three will be this one right underneath. And then we we want to add add as a sub view. So this will be scroll view, add sub view, label two. Don't for do not forget to do this, or else it will not work at all. Because we haven't technically we haven't added it to the scroll view, which is what we called our scroll view. 
and then we want to add in our button too. So yeah, this is all. This, that's what you need to. Do. That's what you need to do if you want. If you need to add like any extra items to your scroll view. So let's build and run, and see what happens again. So this time there will be a whole lot of stuff that will move along with it. See that? So this scroll views are very useful if you want to show like any um huge content that won't fit in one view. That is something like very um convenient to use. So as you see. There's not much programming to do, and it's quite easy to add. Um, the next video will be how to do this in Swift. So right now I'm using Objective C for this video, and um, yeah, that's pretty much how you. That's pretty much it. So this is scroll view horizontally. Let's click stop because now this video is over. So thank you all for watching. Um, if this video helped you out, hit like. Um, and hit subscribe to stay tuned for the next programming video. See you guys later.